Good evening. Thank you to all of the people who've made this event possible today. Teachers, custodians, and staff members. We appreciate all of your hard work. I would also like to recognize my fellow graduates of the class of 2023 for making the journey up to this point so unique and memorable. Many years ago, I learned how to ride a bike. Like most, I began on training wheels. One day, I felt I was ready to take off the training wheels, but there were screws keeping them on. So I went to the basement and got the electric screwdriver. But once I knelt down to actually take the wheels off, I realized that I had no idea how to use an electric screwdriver. So I went inside and asked my mom, Mom, how do you work an electric screwdriver? Her response forms the basis of the wisdom that I want to impart to all of you today. It was, figure it out. If you fail to see the value in this response, I ask you to consider the experiences that we as the class of 2023 have shared together. Freshman year, we arrived here to new faces, new class, and new teachers. We navigated sports, clubs, challenging classes, and the novelty of being a high schooler. Just when we started to get our bearings, we were hit by a global pandemic. For more than a year, we adapted to remote and hybrid learning models. On top of this, we increased our course rigor, played larger roles on sports teams, and became more involved in clubs. In the coming years, we would have to find jobs, pass driving tests, manage relationships, and create our post high school plans. Let's face it, the last four years have been anything but predictable. And now, here we are. We have our grades finalized, our caps and gowns donned, and our diplomas ready. But one thing none of us has is any clue what comes next. Consider this. We, the class of 2023, will be in the workforce through the year 2070. That's almost five decades into the future. Consider how long of a time that is. Could anyone in 1973 have predicted how our world would look today? Think about how much has changed. Some of our parents weren't even born yet. There were no cell phones, no Google, no AI. Smoking was good for you. <laughs> Seat belts were optional. And asbestos was a wonderful building material. Between now and 2070, the only thing that we can predict is change. Honestly, I still can't use an electric screwdriver. But, like all of you, I was able to figure out the last four years and make it through high school without training wheels. We as a class have successfully navigated the unpredictability of high school. We adapted. We figured it out. The workforce, the country, and the world are all going to change in unprecedented ways during our lifetimes. We will face a future riddled with crises, a climate on the brink of disaster, growing international security threats, and the complexities of a globalized world. And there's more. These are just the ones that ChatGPT gave me. The bottom line is, we're going to get handed a lot of screwdrivers that we don't know how to work. But just like we've done in high school, we're going to need to adapt and figure it out. If we do this, there is no challenge too large for us. Thank you. Congratulations and go Mustangs.